Well, over the past couple of days, the full extent of the devastation in Puerto Rico has been coming to light. The family members stranded without food, water, power. Many here in the U.S. are desperately trying to get the island the help it needs. One of those is actress, model, and two-time Miss Puerto Rico, Joyce Gerard. I have followed your postings, your passion. I feel your passion. Let's get personal and talk about your family. Your mom is there, your brothers. Talk about that. My mom is there. My whole family is there. And I'm sorry for being so emotional. No. I promised my little boy that I would stop crying for Puerto Rico because he asked me to stop crying. But yes, my entire family is there. I think they're stronger even than we are, so I want to be strong for them. My mom, they have no power, no water, no gas. Um, but she tells me, hey, I stocked up on food and I'm cooking for the neighborhood. She doesn't want to leave. She and wants she to stay. She doesn't want to come. She wants to stay and make sure that everybody has food. And she said, when everybody here is okay and has food, then I'll come to you, baby. But I have to stay until everybody has food. Well, Joyce, our hearts go out to you and, of course, the many people who are living there. 1.5 million people are without water. When you think about how devastating that is, and even as you wipe away your tears, you're working so hard to try to help people there. What can be done? What is the biggest obstacle? Well, right now the big, big obstacle that we're having is that all the help that is arriving has not been distributed. So we have a lot of help in the ports just stuck there, and we need help it's, I think it's going to take a military operation to get this help to where it needs to be. There's places where there's mudslides. There's no access in the streets. This is a humanitarian crisis. Um, last night, I heard from one of my friends they had to evacuate a shelter because, of course, they need a place to put FEMA for their operations. So they had to evacuate the shelter, and kids and elder people had to get out in the middle of the night and go to another place with no mattresses, no nothing. So this is a humanitarian crisis, and we all need to pay attention. I know we're just a commonwealth, but we are American citizens, and we need help, and help needs to arrive now because people are dying. It, there's hospitals that I'm hearing where people are dying, and there's no places to cool down the, the bodies. This is a very dire situation. Here in L.A., we've joined together a group of artists, and we are joining forces, and you can follow Voices for Puerto Rico.com or LA for Puerto Rico .com on LA for Puerto Rico on Facebook and it's two groups that um, we I've joined both of them and we decided that we are going to help our local heroes distribute the help and help them rebuild our island this is something that's going to take a long time this is not something that's going to happen in a couple months a lot of people a lot of my friends a lot of my family members inclusive lost everything their entire belongings just flown away and this is going to take a long time, but we're strong and we're going to rebuild our island and we're going to come back and make it more beautiful than ever. And even if in the satellite shots we're non-existent because it's, there's no power, right. we want everybody to know in Puerto Rico that we see them, that they're in our hearts and that even if in the map you can't see them from far away, we're with them. And we're not going to stop until they're rebuilt. Joyce, we think of the island, much of it being without electricity. The hospitals, no electricity using batteries and generators. The president is sending a flotilla of military ships. There is aid coming. There is aid there. Uh, do you think the president's response, the Trump administration, has been slow to respond? I re I'm thinking of the tweet that Mark Anthony said out with some choice words. You know, I, I, I don't want to make this a political issue, but yes, it's been slow. And, I'll, you know, if they need me to beg, I'll beg. There's no ego. There's no pride. We're just begging for the help. So whatever it takes, we, you know, we just want the help to get there. We want them to help distribute it, to help take it. There's places in Puerto Rico that it's just totally un incommunicated. So you can't even get access unless you go in a helicopter. And they feel like the world has forgotten them. They feel alone. They feel helpless. And we, we need to make sure that they know they're going to be OK. We need to make sure that at least the basic necessities are there for them. Well, you and your friends, of course, are keeping this out front. We're happy to be able to have you on here today. Um, let's talk a little bit about the politicization, politicalization of this issue, if we could, please, because there has been some criticism that the inability to get boats there, which would carry all the aid, has been very slow because of an old law. The Can Jones you speak Act. to that? So 
We've begged and we're also lobbying. We're lobbying with Congress. We're lobbying everywhere. Everybody united has been trying to create awareness on this. Um, so if they would take away the Jones Act, ships could go directly to Puerto Rico instead of having to go to the mainland and then having to go to Puerto Rico. And that's why everything ends up being so expensive and it's a big thing. And I literally just before I came on with you guys read that the Jones Act was released um, for Texas after the hurricane, it was it was it was released for for Florida and for Puerto Rico. They said no. Trump said no that he was not going to get rid of the Jones Act. So, you know, right now, I, again, I don't want to make this political, but I just want them to please help, to please send the help. A lot of items are arriving, um, but we need help distributing them and getting to them to the people. Tomorrow we're going to be here in L.A. We're going to be at Draco's concert with L.A. for Puerto Rico. It, the address is 1130 West Sunset Boulevard for anybody that wants to stop by and we're going to put some donate information things. up. Yes, yeah, we're going to put that so information much. on the screen so people can access it. Yeah, and then Sunday we're going to be doing a big drop off with Voices for Puerto Rico. You can go on the website www.voicesforpuerto right, Rico. Thank you so much. We can see all this information up on yes. the screen. Yes, you can go to voicesforpuertorico.com or go to Los Angeles for Puerto Rico on Facebook and make sure you follow Joyce 